Hey guys, this is Ryan Kennedy. I'm here with our service manager, Adam Heinz. We're with Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning. We wanted to shoot a quick video on heat exchangers. Adam and I took some videos in the field, wanted to show you what an actual heat exchanger looks like when it's cracked on a furnace, and why you as a homeowner need to be aware of it. Adam, what are they gonna see in these videos? Well, unsafe. We want to, we want to focus on safety anytime that we look at these units. On a scale of one to 10, you're probably looking about a 10 as far as being unsafe and immediate action being required on these units. Um, another important aspect to take away is regular maintenance. You know, do you have your systems properly tuned up and checked by a certified contractor? We want to make sure that you guys are getting the full benefits of these systems and that they are running within safe parameters for you and your home. Absolutely. Adam, we're going to let our viewers at home decide for themselves how serious these videos are and leave, leave your mind open to the interpretation of what if? What if this fire was not contained? Take a look. Okay guys, this is an older Goodman package unit. We jumped out the rollout switch so that you could see what happens. There we go when the flame rolls out. Imagine if that one little switch was not working or if you had some leaves inside that uh, compartment, the damage it could do to your home. Uh, this is an indoor furnace. Uh, on the left side, you'll see the igniter coil, what we call the glow coil. It's called that for a reason. It's glowing, fire rolls out towards the front. Again, another very dangerous situation. The what if factor, right? What if the fire was not contained? What if there's no fail safety switches, such as a rollout switch that's functioning and telling the unit to shut down? What if there's some combustibles and some dry leaves and things like that uh, in the furnace compartment and those leaves catch fire when that flame rolls out towards the front of the furnace. That what if factor can be a very scary, expensive what if. Yes it can. Uh, the main things that we focus on as far as the technical aspect, anytime we're looking at a system as far as a furnace, we want to make sure that the leaves are out, that the orifices are clean, that the heat exchanger isn't blocked, that we don't have bugs making nests anywhere. Um, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but uh, there was a lot of electrical wiring inside that burner compartment. And the main issue is your gas supply line was also installed in that oh, burner compartment. And by the way, the gas supply line, which has the gas, and if it wasn't, the pipes weren't all the way tight, had a little bit of gas leaking out around the gas valve or something like that. Ticking time bomb waiting to happen. You don't yeah. want to be around for that. Yeah. Well, Adam, what can our customers at home know about preventive maintenance? What can they do to make sure that, number one, their house is as safe as it can be as it relates to their furnace, as well as getting some work done that will help the unit to be reliable and help it to run as efficient as it possibly can? Well, the first thing that the homeowners need to do is just take a little time and do some research on who's actually coming to service the system. You know, are they certified? Are they licensed? Do they look like they know what they're doing? Do they have the right tools? A technician is his tools at that point, you know. A couple of things that we do when we check the furnace, we check pressures. Is your manifold efficient? Are we, are we running with the right pressure? Do we have it set up for the right style of gas? Is it natural gas, propane? You know, a lot of these pressures are very important to the safety of the system and to the efficiency of the system as well. Cleanliness is another aspect. Do we, are we cleaning the leaves? Are we looking at the orifices? Are we cleaning up the bugs? You know, cleaning out the heat exchanger, looking at the motors, looking at your evaporator coil to make sure we're getting proper airflow across the heat exchanger. A lot of these techniques and tricks are used to make sure that your system is running at full utilization and to make sure that you're getting the full benefits of your system. And another thing is you want to make sure that this process is at least an annual basis. You know, yeah, it's not absolutely. something that you want to let lapse. You know, are you going to drive 30,000 miles in your car without changing the oil? Probably not, because you probably won't have a car left that's going to be working on you. So, I mean, this, these are very key items to focus on when you're talking about HVAC and home safety. Absolutely. And, you know, getting back to your car, you know, it's a pretty uh, scary thought to think about your car not starting. It's an even more uh, scary thought to think about. The what if factor, if you have a cracked heat exchanger, you don't address it, you don't get your system maintenance, your house catches on fire. Unfortunately, that's stuff that happens. Um, some of it, a lot of it probably preventable, just through preventive maintenance. And that's the reason why we wanted to shoot this video today, 
to basically plead with you if you have a furnace at home do yourself a favor do your family a favor make sure that you get your unit serviced before the winter starts in the fall around September or October if you're in Middle Tennessee get that unit clean get those dry leaves out of there get get those burners cleaned off get those coils and those those filters as clean as possible get that heat ex, uh, exchanger inspected as much as possible get that flame looked at that way when you fire up that unit for the first time you know you've had a professional look at it and you feel pretty good about not having any major problems with your uh, with your heat exchanger now one thing before, before we let you go there's a lot of people out there that um, will falsely diagnose heat exchangers. We recommend getting a second opinion. If you, somebody tells you that you have a cracked heat exchanger, but they don't show it to you, you want to make sure you actually see it. Second, um, just because you have a pinhole or a microscopic hole in a heat exchanger does not mean that it has to be replaced immediately. It does not mean you are going to get carbon monoxide uh, poisoning or anything like that. You want to make sure that um, the person that's servicing your house is not on commission, not getting any kind of incentives to force feed you a new system or a new heat exchanger. Unfortunately, I know I have personally on several occasions come out and given someone a second opinion. and It was something very, very, very small that needed to be fixed, but it certainly wasn't their heat exchanger. So keep that in mind. Uh, it is a safety issue, but it's also one of those things that you're going to want to get a second opinion on too. So we appreciate you watching our video. I hope you guys have gotten a lot out of it. I'm Ryan Kennedy. Again, this is Adam Hikes. We're with Total Transformation, and we hope that you have a blessed and safe day.